let's get after we're gonna work on figure eight dribbling getting quicker hands stronger hands with the heavy basketball using these low taps like i say the figure eight drill before we start make sure you subscribe to the channel like the video when we finish drop a positive comment share it with somebody so this is not your typical you know figure eight i'm going around my left foot with my right hand around the backside, boom just going around i believe i got five to ten reps and whatever i did to the right i do to the left um when i say i'm doing five 18 whatever on camera but uh, the goal is 20. You know, when you're working alone, you can take a break in the middle of these sets if you want to, shoot some free throws, do some form shooting with the heavy ball. You see a dude walking by like, what is he doing, man? Getting my hand is better, man. It's all about work, man. It's all about work, man. Appreciate everybody who's been tapping in with me, showing love to all my new subscribers or, you know, new people engaging in on what I'm doing and what I'm showing. Appreciate y'all, man. There ain't nothing but love. Now we're doing that figure eight, going inside, low tap. Right now we're just working one hand. I like to open my hand up wide, keeping them, you know, keeping it like on the, on the fingertips. But we might touch the palm of your hand a little bit. Uh, most of the time when I lose the ball like that, I'm not counting those reps. And if you lose the ball, it's okay. Keep on going. So, you know, you're going to lose the ball a lot when you're in the gym working on your game. You know, but uh, if you can't dribble that low, you can dribble a little bit higher. Like I say, whatever we do to the right, we do to the left. Whatever we do to the front, we do to the back. You know, see, I lost it, like, start off at the beginning. So, like I said, I don't count those reps when I lose the ball. You know, sometimes I go back, or sometimes I keep that same number, but we do not count them reps. And I say this is a great drill to work on your low taps. You know, you might not think this works, but, you know, people that really actually play basketball really love the game, understand when you get to that game action and you're splitting through, getting through them tight spaces on the floor, you can tap, 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 especially after you're going to use the heavy ball. You know, it really, you know, translate to the game, if you ask me. Now we're going one hand, going backwards. Like I say, whatever we do to the front, we do, we do to the back. Whatever we do to the right, we do to the left. left. Typically, on the figure eight dribbling, going backwards is typically easy. I don't I don't ultimately know why. I guess it's because of that hand placement. Oh, you see, I popped that ball back up. But going to the back is way easier for me if you ask me like i say i'm getting like five reps eight reps ten reps i don't know i'm not counting right now on camera but uh you know i recorded i mean i did ultimately 20 reps on each side and if you can't do 20 straight reps that's all right you know break them down in sets of five or break them down in sets of ten in between you can do form shooting with your heavy basketball or you can shoot free throws just all works on uh, matters on you now we're going inside <laughs> Which this is the tough one right here going inside boom you know turning your body this also works on your hips shoot your hips and your legs and your obliques and your uh, your lats i believe were the lower side of your back i don't know actually what they're called i'll look it up so i have the name for you next time but you know a part i'm talking about just rotational just rotating see how them hips are rotating inside boom i mean my knees rotating inside working them hips working them thighs same thing we do opposite side the goal is ultimately have your feet straight I just got caught up in the action, boom, and, you know, just turning. You're not going to be able to ultimately keep your feet all the way straight. Your body is going to have to turn to get it around. Boom, we three minutes in. Appreciate y'all. If you made it this far, thank you. Subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Share the video with somebody. Drop a positive comment. Show some love. Like I always say, and I'm continue to say, I give great energy. I give out love. So, yes, man, I want to receive some love. It's, it's, it's a must, you know what I'm saying? You know, and if you got some hate in your blood, I mean, that's on you. You know, you're burning on the inside. You know, I hope you find some love. Boom, find yourself. Look, I gotta cut it. Well, I was supposed to edit that, but I didn't. And it's the only thing that I, right here, wasn't low taps. Actually, my last, the last video that I had, the, uh, my long video, how this was supposed to be together, I didn't even know I had these clips. So I ended up just basically splitting it down into two. But we getting in and out, boom, not even hitting it that hard, just finding that rhythm, keeping that opposite hand close, boom, turning and turning, because you can treat it like a hesitation, and it helps you get your opposite hands active. I believe we're getting 50 reps. 50 reps, just hit the turn. Ha, 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 ha. You see that rhythm going, boom. Uh, you know, it seems light, but at the same time, I'm, I'm, I'm rotating my whole body, just digging in, rotating my whole body, finding my groove. Like I say, man, you know how I go, whatever we do to that right, we do to that left. Whatever we do to the front, we do to the back. I mean, unfortunately, I feel like, you know, right now serves no purpose to do like a little in and out to the back. So we hitting this last one. 
50 50 with the left hand boom getting that opposite hand close boom man you gotta have your deadly in and out in your game man in and out leads to so much i mean you know it's extension on every other move so you know having an in and out crossover in and out between the legs in and out behind the back in and out wrap behind the back in and out reverse in and out spin move so it gives you a little bit more options you know having them one two then you can hit the double crossover with that as well i extend it in you know eventually and drop another video about that man before we get up out of here make sure you subscribe like share drop a positive comment i got more videos coming soon look what i got in store uh, live videos every day in the morning man so tap in if you missed the live you know the replays i got it on better handles and be able to become a better shooter and playlist on my live video as well team ryan bennett let's get it baby we out this thing